Welcome to our video on 7 Steps to Stop Emotional Eating. Emotional eating is a common issue that occurs when you turn to food as a way to cope with negative emotions or stress, rather than to meet your physical hunger needs. It can have negative impacts on your physical and mental health, and it's important to address the issue and seek help if necessary. In this video, we will discuss 7 steps that can help you stop emotional eating and develop a healthy relationship with food. It's important to note that overcoming emotional eating takes time and effort, and it's important to be patient and kind to yourself. So, without further ado, let's get started. Step number 1. Identify your triggers. The first step in overcoming emotional eating is to identify what triggers your emotional eating. Do you turn to food when you're feeling stressed, anxious, or depressed? Are there specific situations or events that trigger your emotional eating? Once you identify your triggers, you can work on finding healthier ways to cope with these emotions. Step number two. Practice mindful eating. Mindful eating involves paying attention to your physical hunger and fullness cues, rather than eating in response to emotional cues. It can be helpful to eat slowly, savor your food, and focus on the present moment while eating. This can help you become more aware of your eating habits and make healthier choices. Step number three. Find alternative coping mechanisms. Instead of turning to food to cope with negative emotions, try finding alternative coping mechanisms such as exercising, talking to a friend, or practicing relaxation techniques. These activities can help you manage your emotions in a healthy way. It's important to have a variety of coping mechanisms at your disposal so that you have options when you're feeling overwhelmed or upset. Step number four. Seek support. It can be helpful to seek support from a therapist or support group to work through the underlying issues that may be contributing to your emotional eating. A therapist can help you identify and address the root causes of your emotional eating and develop healthy coping strategies. Support from friends and loved ones can also be beneficial in overcoming emotional eating. Step number five. Practice self-compassion. It's important to be kind to yourself and practice self-compassion, rather than being overly critical of yourself. Self-compassion can help you develop a more positive relationship with food and reduce the likelihood of emotional eating. It's important to remember that everyone makes mistakes and it's okay to have setbacks. Be gentle with yourself and focus on progress, rather than perfection. Step number six. Plan healthy meals and snacks. Planning healthy meals and snacks in advance can help you make healthier food choices and avoid emotional eating. It's important to make sure you're fueling your body with nourishing, balanced meals. This can help you feel more satisfied and less likely to turn to food in response to emotions. Step number seven. Seek professional help if necessary. If you're struggling with emotional eating and are unable to overcome it on your own, it may be helpful to seek professional help. A therapist or healthcare provider can provide more specialized support and treatment options to help you overcome emotional eating. They can work with you to address the underlying causes of your emotional eating and develop strategies to manage it. It's important to find the strategies that work best for you and to be patient, as overcoming emotional eating takes time and effort. It's also important to be kind to yourself and remember that everyone makes mistakes. If you're struggling with emotional eating, don't hesitate to seek help. There are many resources available to support you in overcoming this common issue. Remember, it's important to address emotional eating and seek help if necessary in order to achieve optimal physical and mental health. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit from it. Thank you for watching, and we hope these 7 steps help you on your journey to stop emotional eating and develop a healthy relationship with food.